Why in my news copy, when I have to describe the, the cardinal as retired, I always have to stifle the laugh because you are more productive in retirement than most of us are on the job. Yeah, so, more than I was when I was working. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd, uh, especially after uh, Cardinal's words, because um, I think that my main message is uh, basically take example from him and do it as much as possible in the region. Um, I will explain why from my own experience as a, as a secular uh, Israeli Jew that understands that most of the power in the region, at least in the Holy Land specifically, lies. With, uh, among, uh, lies with my own leaders. Um, so I think that political engagement uh, is crucial from people of your excellency, men and women that sit here, um, because we have um, currently two main problems. One is that people who are uh, secular like I am uh, are leading the peace process and tend to think of issues like Jerusalem, Hebron, Jericho, other holy cities and as, as you know, roadblocks on the way to peace. They think that they don't understand it really and uh, therefore they describe the conflict as intractable. And I was surprised um, for the good uh, when I held an interreligious uh, event in Bailan University, which is the biggest university now in Israel, and a rather conservative one, and actually Rabbi Daniel Sperber attended, along with common uh, Muslim and Christian uh, participants. And there I saw that, first of all, among them, the uh, issue of Jerusalem, for instance, can be depoliticized. Of course, there's still a real estate aspect to it, and it needs to be solved so that people living there, not only the worshippers, not only the pen, but I think that a great extent of uh, the uh, alleged intractability can be uh, uh, removed with the positive engagement of, uh, of uh, people of, of, of your um, uh, approach. Uh, the, it is also very important because uh, the people, the minority of religious extremists or people who use the name of the Lord uh, to promote extremist agendas, they are very active. So if you are sometimes hesitant about engaging with the Knesset and engaging with the Palestinian leadership, uh, be sure that your, uh, I would dare say it, uh, your enemies are not hesitant. And, uh, and, and therefore we need to balance that. The image in Israeli civil society, in the, in the, in the street of Muslims, for instance, has become so, um, so, so, um, it was, it became so bad, I mean, the, the image of Muslims, for instance, uh, that only positive engagement, the likes of which uh, by uh, Sperber is engaged with with uh, uh, his partner in the region, only that can take uh, uh, can take us a step forward. I really want to share a small example to, to illuminate what I'm referring to. <clears throat> now Jericho, Jericho is a is an old city, uh, holy for the Jews. There's a very holy um, uh, old synagogue there. Uh, but it is also a, a city that is in the heart of uh, the Palestinian uh, uh, future state. It is in the heart of the eight territories now, so even Jews and Israelis cannot enter there uh, without a special permit. Uh, there is, nevertheless, a group of uh, devoted Jews that pray there on a monthly basis. They coordinate their prayers with uh, the Palestinian uh, Authority and with the IDF. And even when there is no full peace, they do pray there. And they are welcome. When there are people who uh, come, those enemies that I described, and I can name them, Baruch Malzer, Itamar Benvir, this gang of, of, of people who uh, use their prayers for PR uh, to promote hostility and not to, uh, not to pray to God, but to send to pray for the press release. Uh, these people uh, come, came to Jericho and uh, accompanied with many video cameras. Uh, and, and without any coordination, and, and they were stoned. Now, I'm not going to sit here and, uh, and, and uh, uh, legitimize any stoning of anyone, regardless of what they did, but I think that uh, it certainly sheds a light on what uh, religious extremists do and what religious moderates do. 
And the one difference is that the religious extremists only uh, also knew how to utilize the press for what they did. And, and create a lot of fear among many Jews who never come to Jericho to pray. But they're not so devoted, but uh, it really uh, made a bad face of all Palestinians and of all Islam. Uh, so in conclusion of my uh, remarks, I would say that people of, of your excellency have a great role to play. And uh, people like me, movements like ours, and One Voice Israel and Palestine are uh, ready to embrace uh, your, your interest in our region and your engagement, both in helping politicians um, drive away from making resolutions that they are not really skilled to make and guiding them in these respects, and also in kind of airing out uh, worrying uh, trends of racism that uh, come about with the work of the religious extremists in civil society and in the media.